Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Vectors lesson. Uh, it seems like there is someone watching my lessons, so I'm gonna keep making these uh, until no one watches them, I guess. Okay, so we want to talk about unit vectors today. So if you remember, a unit vector is basically, if we have a vector, let's call this vector um, U. Okay, now a vector can be broken down into horizontal and vertical components. So for example, it could be something like 6i plus um, 5j. Right, so u equals 6i plus 5j. Now, i and j are unit vectors. I is a unit vector along the x axis and J is a unit vector along the y axis. Now, my question to you guys is what is the unit vector um, in the same direction? as u, as vector u, right? So we have i, which is a unit vector along the x. So i is just one unit along this way. And j is one unit up. Um, upwards. Um, can we define a unit vector in the same direction as u? So for example, it'll be something like this. Okay, one unit along um, this length. Now the answer is yes, we can. And the symbol for that is the unit vector u, sorry, the vector u with a little hat on top. Okay, now this is the unit vector in the same direction as vector u. Right? u with the hat on top is the unit vector in the same direction as vector u. So how do we find the unit vector of vector u? Well, I'm going to illustrate this concept to you guys using similar triangles. So if we have a triangle like this, Okay, let's say um, this is a right angle triangle and let's say this length is 5 units and this length is 4 units and this length is 3 units. Okay, now if I divide the longest side by 5 to give me 1. Okay, so this is now small, a lot smaller Right, and the longest side is 5 divided by 5 which is 1. Now to make these two triangles similar, I have to divide the other two sides by the same scale factor. So I have to divide 3 by 5 as well and I have to divide 4 by 5 as well. So the answer here is going to be 0.6 and the answer here is 0 0.8. So these two triangles are similar. Now, therefore, similarly, if we have vector u here, let's say the magnitude of vector u is 5. Okay, so we have a vector here, and the magnitude of vector u is 5. Okay, so this is vector u drawing this way, drawn this way. And we have the horizontal and vertical components of u, and let's say horizontally it's 4i, and upwards it's 3j. Okay, now if we want to find out what the um, <clears throat> unit vector of u is so u with a hat on top 
and we want to express it in terms of i and j something i plus something j now we're gonna have to do the same thing as what I did here with the similar triangle so I have to divide all three tri all three lengths here by 5 so 5 divided by 5 is 1 okay so I've already done that because it's one um, unit vector u so u is 4i plus 3j All right now unit vector of u is 4 and look what I have done here I have divided each of these sides by the magnitude of my vector so I'm gonna go 4 divided by 5 i plus 3 divided by 5 j okay so that's how you define a unit vector in the direction of your vector okay so let's give you guys the general formula the unit vector of any vector u in the direction of vector u is given by is given by The unit vector u of u is equal to vector u divided by the magnitude of u. Okay, so let's try a practice question. A unit vector in the direction of vector m equals negative 2i plus 3j is equal to So I want you guys to get that done and come back when you're done. Okay, so we're going to use the formula. Unit vector in the direction of m is equal to vector m divided by the magnitude of m. So the first thing we want is the magnitude of m. So the magnitude is square root of negative 2 squared plus 3 squared. So that's the square root of 4 plus 9, which is the square root of 15. So I'm going to keep it as that. Okay, so the unit vector in the direction of m is m, which is negative 2i plus 3j, divided by the magnitude. So I'm just going to divide each of the coefficients by square root of 15. Okay, so to write that properly, the unit vector of m is negative 2 over square root of 15 i plus 3 over square root of 15 j. Now, if you guys are awake, you would see that I have made a little mistake. So. 4 plus 9 is actually 13, not 15. So I'm going to go back and get rid of all of this. Okay, so it's 13 there, 13 there. Okay, so that's done. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.